Okay, so welcome to this tutorial on the Handshake Project. I recorded this and it crashed mid-recording, so I did the whole thing and didn't realize it wasn't filming, but here's what it is going to look like. Starting from top to bottom, first thing you want to check out is your library. So I'm just going to up arrow here. So over here we have the Smart Collections folder. Above that is your library, and then below that are all the events that are within your library. The goal is to only have one library open, so just double check that this is clicked on, highlighted, and then named correctly. And if we go over here, you're going to see that this one's on my Mac hard drive. Uh, uh, my teaching workstation doesn't have one of those external drives, so I've been using the Mac hard drive. Uh, but you definitely want to make sure that it says LaCie drive or some kind of external hard drive, and it does not say Mac hard drive. So you click on your library and check here. Second thing you're going to do is make an event. So I'm going to start from scratch, but here's my Handshake folder. Um, and I will say file new event, and I'm going to put the date, and I'm going to the date and hand shake. The date stays um, by default, and then I'm going to call this um, example. And in creating a new project checked off, um, they come up as untitled over here. I'll show you that in a second. So I'll just highlight this text command C copy and say OK. Now I'm going to go to that event, so it, it kind of put it underneath the event that I had selected, and we have this untitled project and nothing else in there. So I'm going to click Untitled Project, and I'm going to paste in, and I'm going to say Edit It. And then I'm actually going to make a second project file, new project, and I'm going to paste in, and I'm going to call this Essential, and I'm going to say OK. So now within my library, I have an event subfolder, in that event subfolder, I have two projects, and I'm about to load some media. So I'll grab the card that the students filmed. And I'm going to pop it in to the back of the machine, and then sometimes it'll load automatically. There you go. Or you hit Command-I or File, Import Media. Command-I, Import. So this screen pops up. So we'll check a couple things. Add to existing event. Um, yes, I want to make sure it's the event that I'm using. So this is my Handshake example event. It was actually the wrong event that was selected there. Copy to library, so it's going to copy from card to library. I have my card selected. I'm going to select all of these. So Command A selects all. Nope, click in here, Command A. See how they're all yellow? Now I have them all selected, and I'm going to import all to the library. So again, library, event, projects, and now media. So the media is down on the timeline. And uh, we're going to go over a little bit of uh, digesting or ingesting or logging or keywording. It's all kind of the same thing. Uh, for a short project, you don't really have to do this, but I'm going to teach it to you, and then you can use it for long projects. It, it's kind of the fastest way to get yourself rolling as an editor. So an editor, sometimes they're not even on the set. They get the footage, and then it's your job to watch every frame of the footage and know what's there and then put it on the timeline in an order that makes the most sense. So uh, I'm going to go through these shot by shot, and just a little bit about this shot project here. So um, if we go to our classroom and we go over to um, in classwork under this handshake project and then we're going out to this page here so there's this storyboard here um, and plot plan so this is like pre this so you want to like know how to shoot it um, we have long shot where they walk together meet in the middle we have medium shot where they meet they shake hands in the middle and then leave so they walk in shake hands and leave same thing, medium shot, walk in, shake hands, and leave. Close up, they shake hands, and hands come back out of the frame. Uh, then we have this idea of like, so here's like a, a plot plan. It's like a bird's eye view, this side here, uh, bottom left. So if we're like above the set, person A walks in, shakes the hands, and then leaves, walks, walks left. So walks right, shakes hands, walks left. Person B walks left, shake hands, walks right. Um, so we shoot that in the long shot, the medium shot, and the close up. And then we do all this kind of all of person A and then all of person B work um, on on the side here, kind of like a um, couple feet away from them, but angling so that you get these kinds of shots. So here's person A walking from left to right. Here's person B walking from right to left. And uh, I'm just going to point out, we want the person, if I stop here, on the back third line, giving them two thirds look room. So you're gonna pan, this is one of the harder shots in the, in the shots that we go from long shot to medium shot in a pan. And it literally gets out of focus because back here they're in focus, but when they come up here, you have to pull focus. Or if you stop your iris down, it'll give you more depth of field, but 
you know, that's a little bit more advanced thinking there. Um, so we get kind of each side. You might want to work with the one actor first. So we do the long shot to medium shot. And we also get the close up. And here's the reaction shot of after where you're either while they're shaking hands or kind of like during the handshake, uh, they're reacting like a smile. So here we get like the left, I'm sorry, right to left action. And here's the smile close up there. And then, so that's like these angles. And then uh, all the stuff from perpendicular to the action. So the, like we got like a right angle, the camera kind of stays almost like the audience would in a play looking at the scene. So we stay on one side of the action. It's that 180 degree rule if you're a protractor. You always keep the camera on this side because if you move the camera to the other side, the action flips. Person A is no longer on the right. They actually look like they're coming from the left when you put the camera on the opposite side. So it's like you have to keep the camera on one side of this line. And that's what we did. So um, here we have, that's a medium shot that was out of focus. We Here's the long shot. Here's the, so they come in, shake hands, and leave. Here's the medium shot. They come in, shake hands, and leave. So you want them to be like in frame first and get them in focus. And then say, go ahead, we're rolling. Come on in, shake hands, and leave. If you don't move distance and they don't move any further away from camera, then they'll be in focus. So you kind of set focus to where they are. They come in, shake hands, and leave. Okay. So there's those two. And then this is nothing at the end here. So I'll command delete and get that out. And we'll get this one out because it's out of focus. Command delete gets that out. Um, so here's all the shots. And now we're going to do some keywording up here. So uh, I'm going to start looking, and this is like a rough cut, um, in point, out point, keywording. So I'll go and I'll scrub and I'll wait for like the first step. And she's actually looking at camera. So I'm going to wait till her eyes change right here. And she's looking. And it's a little blurry, but that's okay. We're going to start like right here. I for in point. And then we'll do like step, step, and O for out point. Next is going to be F key. So those were in point, out point, I key, O key. No modifier, no, like, you don't have to hold command or anything. And then F key is favorite. That's the green line. Command K brings up keywords. And I'm going to call this LS to MS. Oops, not typing. Let's try that again. LS to MS um, dash left. Enter. And now I got a blue line. So green line is the favorite. The blue line is that. Um, keyword and then we're gonna do it over here so I'm gonna wait till we get like a smile somewhere in here is probably a smile so in point out point F for favorite command K see you left see you dash left so there's the green line for the favorite the blue line for the keyword over here We'll go, so here, you see how she's on like this side of the frame? We want her on this side of the frame when you start in that long shot. So that was, um, you know, a little error, but that's okay. We'll go to here. She never really gets the look room, so she's almost mid frame. So I'm just gonna stay here, eye point. And notice I'm just riding the mouse left to right. That's called skimming. If this is turned on, you can do it on the timeline, audio and video skimming, S key, turns it on and off. But I will go to my out point, skim over to about here, O for out point, F for favorite, command K to keyword, and we're going to call this LS to MS dash left. Did I do that wrong? This left? This should be right. That's okay. I, I, this is left. This should be right. So how do I remove a keyword? Interesting. I think if you go here, it'll show you your keyword by clip, by down arrow. I'll go here and maybe delete key. No, undo that. I think that marked it as maybe control click and remove the keywords. There we go. And then I'll command K and I'll say LS to MS dash right. There we go. Enter. And now I have it. I'll go back to this. So this is a list view. If you click toggle here, it's like a thumbnail view or a list view. I'm going to go over here. And we're going to get our smile. So it's like somewhere around here, in point. And let's go out point there. I'm going to F for favorite and command K. And we're going to go see you dash right, enter. Here's our close up. So this close up, they didn't have the hands come in and shake and then break the handshake. So uh, I'm probably just going to go like from the down eye, we'll go up. Down, up, down, up. So in point, out point, F for favorite, command K. I'm going to just say close up, hands, enter. 
I'm going to go here. I'm going to look for the start of the action. So maybe as they're like walking into frame. So maybe like right about here as the feet are coming into frame. I. And then one, two, three. So where their cans connect. O. And I'm going to call this F and command K for keyword. And I'm going to call this LS, long shot. And we're going to um, say to connect. Enter. And then I'm actually going to keyword a second part. So as they like break, so we're going to go like here. So in point to out point is the exit frame. Oops, I missed. I hit the I key again. I for in point. O for out point. F for favorite. Command K. And we're going to call this LS to exit. So I got two parts of that. And then over here is my... We got one there, and I think they like this take better. So I'm gonna go over here, command delete, that gets it out of my bin entirely, and then um, we'll go. Like here I, and then here, maybe just to connect. And then, oh, F for favorite. Command K, this is the medium shot to connect. Uh, I think we use the exit and the long shot. And now you got some choices to make. So if I'm going through, like, this is where the handshake um, maybe should, like, initiate. And then here is, like, the close-up, the best view of the handshake. And then this is probably the exit. So that's probably going to be the order I go. Almost how we shot it here. So I'll go up here. And if I click inside the box, it highlights yellow. Or if I click on one of those... Um, uh, lines it'll highlight as well. So I'll click inside the box and now we're gonna get them to the timeline. So you can click and drag them down, but I want to use these um, icons and key commands. So it's actually the E key that I'm going to use, which is append or put on the end of the primary storyline, which is this black bar here. And then the gray bar is connect to the primary storyline where it puts it above. Um, we use that when you want to like have a clip connected, like if you're looking at an interview and you want to add video on top of the interview. So that's what we use those two. And this puts it in the middle. So the QWE keys, this is W, this is Q, and this is E. They're at the top left-hand corner of your keyboard if you look at your keyboard right now. So we're going to use the E key a lot for this project. So I'm going to go here and I say, all right, I'll put this on my timeline. Now it's down here. I'll click on my timeline, Shift Z, A for error. I got the right tool here. You got different tools under this arrow set here. A for hour is pretty much the tool we're going to use for this project. So we're going to go here, and I put it down to the timeline. So they walk. We're going to walk here. E key puts it on the, the end of the timeline. Shift Z is a global zoom from the top of the tail of the timeline. So they're walking. They're walking. And then we introduce them meeting here. So I'll click on this blue line here, and now it's highlighted yellow. And I'm going to go E key, and they're coming together to the connection. Maybe I want to go to this part here, E key, and then I want to cut to the close up here, E key, jumps to the timeline. So I'm selecting and putting on the timeline just by hitting a key. Um, and then we're going to go close up because we showed uh, Angelina first, and then close up because we showed Simone second. So I selected and hit the E key, selected and hit the E key. They're both on the timeline. Come back down here, Shift Z. You see we're building out our timeline. And then we'll show the break here. So I'm going to click on this line here, and that selects this area, E key, and that puts it on the end. And I'm going to go down to my timeline, hit the home key. It's above my arrow keys on my keyboard. jumps to the top of the timeline. Shift Z to global zoom so I can see everything on the timeline. And then space bar. Let's watch it. So we're seeing some overlap of the action from long shot to medium shot. So it's about eight seconds, and now I'm going to clean it up. So... Here we're going to use the skimming technique, almost as I was up here where I was skimming and then I and O. But down here, instead of I and O to like trim, we're going to use the option key. It's underneath your shift key. I use the right side option. And then the bracket keys that are above your parentheses next to the letter P on your keyboard. So there's like an in bracket and an out bracket there. So I'm just going to scrub through or skim through. And we got person one, one, two. Person two, one, two. And if I look at their, I'm looking at the timeline down here now. They're about the same length. Maybe I want to cut this to be the same length. So option, out bracket. Because there's a pacing associated when they're at the same rhythm. So here and here, they're about the same. And then now they're walking in, two steps, and their hands are starting to come up. 
So I'm going to come to here as their hands are starting to come up. And I'm going to look at this one too because Simone on the right there is leading with her right hand and her left hand is back, whereas over here, her left hand is kind of forward. I'm going to go to this frame here to where her hand starts to appear like her right hand's kind of going forward. And now I'm going to use that option out bracket. So option, and this is the out bracket. So not the first key next to the B, but the second key over to the right. There's my out bracket, and it trimmed up the timeline down there. So we got like step, one more step. And I'm not seeing that hand come out there, so I'm actually going to click and drag this over. There's my hands coming out. And then here I want my hand coming out even more, so I'm going to, I'm going to skim and then option in bracket. Now I have that hand coming out, and as they connect, we go to this up. So the hands connect and the hands go up. And if I come to this, they're down. Then they come up, so I'm actually going to come to this up point and option in bracket. It's the one right next to the P. And then they go down, up, down. We got a smile, a smile. They're about the same length if I'm looking at the timeline. And then they break the handshake and exit. Let's watch it now. So it's uh, currently seven seconds long. That's pretty good. So home jumps to the top of the timeline, space bar. That's pretty good. One more little thing here. So if I look at this long shot, they're kind of almost starting the action. So they're almost mid full stride here. They're moving pretty quick here. They're moving, they're moving. And here they're like starting to move quick. So we want to get them up to speed. I'd say let's get to their first step, full step in where they're like full stride, like right from here to here. So like, let's cut right there. I'm going to option in point, option in bracket next to the P key. And now I'm going to rewatch that timeline. Home, jumps to the top, space bar. And if I'm going, if I'm being like picky here, we got the hands coming up, and the, almost the hands are not fully extended here, but they're fully extended here. So I might drag this handle out a little bit, maybe to that frame. So I added like one frame there, and it seems like there's like a slowing here where there's more speed here, but I think that that'll still work. Okay, and now you're hearing my direction in there. So um, what I'll do is I'll select all these, click and drag, or I can Command A to select all. And then I'm going to click, I think it's the default over here, if I remember from the last video. I'm going to click on this audio icon. I'm going to drag my audio all the way down. So that's all the audio being muted on all these clips. And then home key and space bar. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm done with this now. I'm going to export it. So that's file, share, master file, share, master file, or command E, as you see the key command there, command E. And we're going to check our settings. We want it to be H.264, and if it says do something on the action, just set it to save only. And then go to next, and we're going to put it in our folder. Make sure you're putting it in your folder on your C drive. Again, mine's on my hard drive because I don't have a C drive connected. Um, and I was actually on the wrong timeline. Interesting. So this is the wrong timeline. This is essential, and I wanted it to be edited. So edited, edited. So I check in my name and what I'm saving it as, and this is example. Oh, I already have example in there, so I'll get rid of that. And I'm going to save it. And now we're looking here, and this tells me how long it's taken to process. There it tells me it's been processed and exported. Here I go over here, and this is what I just export it, and if I spacebar preview it, this is what it looks like. Okay, spacebar to get rid of it, and that's gonna be uploaded to um, Google Classroom. So we're gonna go over here now, I'm actually gonna change because I, I want this on my edited timeline. So if we wanna copy clip from one timeline to another, I can close this. Um, Command A, select all, Command C, copy. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna double click on my edited timeline and paste that one in there. Oops, go over here. Home key to the, to the front of the timeline, Command V. There they are. Shift Z is a global zoom. So now they're identical. So this is my edited timeline. I'm actually going to go back to my essential timeline. Double click. Now I'm on my essential timeline. I want this to be the least amount of frames. So we're going to shorten it up. So we might just do like instead of one, two steps, I might do one step, one step, one step, just the connect, just the sh one shake, a quick close up, a quick close up, and then the break in the leaf. 
So let's try that. I'm going to hover scrub. I'm going to maybe start here, option in bracket, and then let's do one step, option out bracket. And I'm going to try to make it about the same length. So maybe like option in bracket, and then one step. Uh, I'm going to trim that back a little bit. We're going to go here to here, option out bracket. And then I'm going to go here, and let's get them a little closer. So here's my option in bracket, and then their hands come up, and I'm going to leave that. So I change the in point on that one, and I, I want their hands to be in this position on the out to this one that has to match. So they come together. As soon as they connect, they go up. I'll just leave that for now. We'll go down, and then I'm going to out bracket one shake. We're going to do option in bracket to here. That looks like a smile. And then we'll do here to here. Same timing, option out bracket. So these two are about the same, maybe the here, option out bracket. And then they shake and break. All right, let's see what that looks like. So overall, we're at four seconds from about six seconds. So she had two seconds. So home jumps to the top of the timeline, or I just drug the time bar, space bar. Lag there a little bit. Home, space bar. It's not bad. This one's a little sh long, so I might go here and option out bracket, and then I might go and change this to the down, from down to up, and then option out bracket. And let's see what that looks like. Space bar. And that's it. So it kind of draws attention to itself. The action, on, it matches from frame to frame, but it's the essential frame. It's the least amount of frames on the timeline to make the action take place. A lot of shots in a very short amount of time. It's kind of artistic and cool, kind of weird. Definitely grabs the audience's attention. Like, what was that? Like, was that necessary? But it works. So um, that's what we're going to export. Command E. Check my settings again, and we'll go to next, and then make sure it's in the right folder and name the correct thing, and we're going to say save. And that's it. So um, from start to finish, we checked our library. We made an event. We made some projects, two of them, one called edited, one called essential. We imported our media. We input, outputted, I key, O key. We favorited, F key. We keyworded, command K, and then you type it in and hit enter. And then we started to bring them to the timeline. We used the E key. We put it on the primary storyline. And then we started tweaking the rough cut, uh, looking at in and out points and option bracket keys to skim and set in and out points. We used a little bit of trimming with the arrow tool. We came to the edge of the clip and like changed some of our decisions. And then we were hitting the home key to jump to the top of the timeline, space bar to play through. And then we command A, select it all, and pasted it over to this other project. Once we had it, uh, command E, we exported it. And then we moved it all over to this other timeline, and we trimmed it down even further to the least amount of frames, and then we exported that, command E. So that's a little overview of the project. Uh, it gets you through covering any action between two people. You typically would want to get a lot of these shots, the long shot, the medium shot, uh, close-ups of all the actions and interactions that take place close-ups of all the reactions that take place, and then uh, maybe medium shots or bust shots of all like the um, principal actor or actresses, the work that they're doing, whether it's dialogue or acting, you know, in, in different types of uh, actions that tell the story. So uh, that'll cover this project.